before attempting to service or install the CL60 grid tie PV inverters from Schneider Electric. Wear personal protective equipment rated adequately for all potential hazards on site, following local, regional, and industry safety regulations. Ensure your upstream AC and DC breakers and disconnects are turned off and locked out and tagged out using LOTO procedure. Turn the DC connect to the off position and on the CL60A, perform LOTO. On the CL60A only, turn the AC disconnect to the off position and perform LOTO. Disconnect the PV string cables incoming to the inverters by disengaging all your MC4 or H4 connectors using the provided PV connector removal tool or manufacturer's recommended tool. Once all power sources are disconnected from the CL60, wait 10 minutes before removing covers. Measure for the absence of voltage using the appropriate PPE equipment and minimally rated 1000 volts DC, 400 volts AC meter. In this video, we will explain how to replace DC surge protection devices on the CL60A and CL60E. The following tools will be required to perform a DC SPD replacement. PPE, a Phillips No. 2 screwdriver, a T30 driver, and a torque driver. After an electrical surge event, consumed DC SPDs will indicate a warning, specifically event code 072. Press OK on the home screen to access the events within the LCD menu. Step 1. Completely loosen the six T30 screws to remove the lower cover of the CL60, and once removed, place the cover aside in a safe location. Step 2. To access the DC SPDs, remove two Phillips No. 2 screws locking the clear protection panel in place. Retain the screws for reuse and pull the clear cover open. Step 3. Visually inspect which surge protection device has expired, and the expired SPD should easily pull straight out. On closer look, we can see the bright red indication clearly identifying an expired SPD cartridge. Step 4. Ensure that the new SPD cartridge is good and identical to the removed SPD. Reinsert the new SPD back into the housing and press for a positive lock. Step 5. Close the protection panel, torque the number 2 Phillips screws to 0.8 Newton meter or 0.6 pound foot. Step 6. Replace the front cover by tightening the 6T30 screws to 4.3 Newton meter or 3.2 pound foot. Step 7. Reinstall the PV sting cables onto the input connectors and restore DC and AC power to the CL60 following lockout tagout, site, and jurisdictional safety procedures. Final step, ensure the DC SPD alarm is clear and the CL60 is producing power. 